I'm having a sudden spike of motivation after recording um, the 13 year tribute to my Attack of the Hamburgers debut. Um, <laughs> so I'm not going to upload this right away, but it'll probably be out by like. Yeah. It'll be out when it'll be out. <laughs> um, I want to talk about the future of the Mario Kart series. Um, I think I mentioned possibly doing a review of Wave 6. Um, I was right. They did not combine Cat Peach and Tanuki Mario into their not... their regular counterparts, I guess. Um, I think... I don't know, I just grabbed this nutcracker that's... <laughs> yeah, there's like three nutcrackers on my desk. That's like... Anyways. Um, yeah, I think the Inkling Boy and Inkling Girl, like, they actually are different stats. But that doesn't matter, you know? Like, no one cares about them. You bought Mario Kart Deluxe for the battle mode and for King Boo and Bowser Jr. and Dry Bones. Like, let's just be real here. Um, and this video is kind of late because there are already rumors circulating about Mario Kart X being in development, which makes me so happy because I've been calling the theoretical next Mario Kart installment, Mario Kart X, since it's mattered. Like, <laughs> like the iPhone X launched, and it's like, oh yeah, they're gonna do the same thing with Mario Kart. Kind of started as a joke, but I'm like, no, this is actually what needs to happen. <laughs> um, so every time I heard Mario Kart 9, like, uh, it, like I, mm. yeah, it is. I hate it that much. Um, but yeah, I, why did I write? I just looked at my desk and I like literally wrote Ultimate JM on it. It's like a wood desk and it's like penciled, almost like engraved in there. Um, anyway, so like I'm... So there was a lot of like rumors with the booster course pass and how much the game is expanding and like people talking about like, oh, like how are they going to top this? Is this the end of Mario Kart? And then I started coming up with ideas. They're like, actually, they were not even close to done. Um, which is kind of concerning because I have this article um, is a Tech Times article that's rumoring that Mario Kart X is the most expensive Nintendo development right now. Um, and I'm going to explain that. So basically, I'm going to explain why that's concerning. Like, this almost implies that, like, maybe Mario Kart X could be. Like, this big out with a bang thing um which is only scary because i do like the idea of there being a mario kart ultimate eventually like call it mario kart ultimate and make it a similar concept to super smash bros ultimate except obviously it's mario kart um but one thing i want to say of like it doesn't really matter what happens with Mario Kart X because let's just be real here um Nintendo could get away with going back to the 32 track formula that we had seen up to this point I mean I don't think people would buy I don't think people would buy a 32 track Mario Kart game for $60 by any stretch of the imagination but if the if the down downgrade, I guess, in content is matched with a downgrade in the price. You've got another bestseller on your hands, no doubt. Um, and I actually laid out a little prediction 
for Mario Kart X. Don't think it's at all accurate because I did make this before. I haven't really touched this since wave. I know since wave six, probably wave five. Um, but I have like a thirty six or thirty five. 35 character roster, it's a 36 grid, and then you bring back the random character option. Because I think that would be really cool. We haven't really seen this since Double Dash, I think. I promise I research. I promise. Um, so how could they sell a game with, you know, less content? Um, go ham with alternate costumes like i've got wedding peach i've got like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve fourteen yoshi colors fifteen if you count like you know your standard yoshi um and counting the default toad one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve colors to choose from that was one the things that I didn't really like in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is that we never did see more characters get color alts except Birdo. Like, they very easily could have added color alts for characters that were in the game, particularly Toad and Koopa Troopa. But, you know, some people also talk about potential, like, tour costumes. That they could implement into the game. Which I didn't do. But then again we did get four characters. So. Um, not really much to complain about there. And I don't think giving Toad eight colors. Would have made him any more popular. I mean maybe a few people would do it for the first few days. For like the experience. The memes or whatever. But yeah. Um. Yeah, I picked like a lot of characters. More amiibo compatibility for the Miis. Because we did get Daisy, the Daisy costume in Wave 6. But like, there's so much more we could do there. Um, I think they could sell that. You know, a lot of people wouldn't probably choose the Miis, but they could still make that argument. Um, yeah, I have nothing special for the vehicles. I did, like, predict some vehicles. Um, new items. I've got poison mushroom, triple poison mushroom. I'm not sure what I was doing with those, exactly. Ice flower. And for the replacement of the Crazy 8, I've got the Primal X. Which is all the items in the Crazy 8 plus a fake item box. I want to bring, I want to see the fake item box back, and it would definitely be in this Primal X circle, Primal 10. I don't know. They probably wouldn't call it the 10 because they're calling the game Mario Kart X. But yeah, and the Poison Mushroom. So yeah, they could even get lazy with the courses. So my Nitro course prediction was. In the Mushroom Cup, you got Mushroom Stadium, Birdo Ridge, Lost Lake, and Fossil Falls. Um, yeah, I am thinking Fossil Falls is in, like, Mario Odyssey. And the Flower Cup, you got Flower Stadium, Tostarino Ruins, Mario Circuit, and DK Factory. Mario Circuit has been in a few different places. It is typically the first course in the Flower Cup. But there are exceptions, and I think the third course in the Flower Cup deserves some Mario Circuit action. So I put Mario Circuit as the third course in the Flower Cup. And the Star Cup, we got Star Stadium, Luigi Circuit. So this would look a lot different than GBA, Luigi Circuit, GCM Luigi Circuit, Wii Luigi Circuit. This would be based, so you know how... A lot, of, a lot of times Mario Circuit has Peach's Castle involved. So Luigi Circuit would be a desert-themed track. I guess desert theme. It would be based on Daisy's Castle. Right. We're doing that. 
Um, Seaside Shore. I'm not sure that's a reference to Bubblame? Is that Seaside Kingdoms? I'm not sure if it's based on Seaside Kingdom or just a beach course, but either way. And Ice Flower Island. And then the special cup would be Special Stadium, Mirror Mansion. I think that's based on uh, Mario Tennis Aces. That like Mirage Mansion, I think. Um, Bowser's Castle and Rainbow Road, obviously. And then for retro courses, um, I think they could take two. So there's obviously one Mario Kart 64 track that hasn't been remade yet, Wario Stadium. Um, I have that in the Leaf Cup. And then I've got three 3DS courses because I would like to see the Woohoo tracks get remade. So I have 3DS Woohoo Loop, 3DS Marco Woohoo, and 3DS Mario Shipyard because in 3DS there's more representation than the Woohoo courses. And then every other Mario Kart would get two tracks. Um, obviously, not the Switch. Uh, we're not going to remake any of the Booster Course Pass Nitros that quickly. I mean, that's pretty standard, I guess, but yeah, I chose not to do that. So instead, we get two, 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 except. 1 in 64, and then the 3DS gets that extra 1. Um, yeah. Um, a lot of battle stages. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so from the start, you get 8 Nitros and 8 Retros. One from each marker. And hear me out, I use... For the retros, it's like one from each Mario Kart game, like I said. Um, Sennis Battle Course 2, uh, Double Deck, the only N64 Battle Course that hasn't been remade yet. Uh, GBA also chose Battle Course 2. Um, GC and Tilt a Kart. I think it would be interesting to see. If they implement how they how they'd implement into grab into that uh, DS Tart Top, pretty sure it might have been remade already. No, I don't think they did. Yeah, no, they did Palm Shore and Seven. Um, we Delfino Pier. Um, 3DS Honey Bee Hive, and Wii U Yoshi Valley. So, the Wii U's battle courses are notoriously awful. But the part that stung the most was the fact that, like, they couldn't... There are battle courses, like, within some of the courses they used. They just made the entire course instead of, like, the battle course within. So, like, if you took Yoshi Valley... And then, like, you walled it off so that it's just the part with, like, the branch... The branching paths part. You've got a decent battle course there. Like that was my go-to battle course. When I played the Mario Kart 8. The Wii U game. Like. Pick Yoshi Valley and just stay in the. Stay in the branching paths. Like just taking different paths. Like that. I think that would be a very fun. Battle course. And. Like I said, start with eight, um, but I actually add two more for each. And the two additional retro stages, I do take one from the Switch, Dragon Palace, and then Wii Funky Stadium because it's a fan favorite. And that alone would probably sell the game. <laughs> Delfino Pier, Funky Stadium. Um, Nitro stages, I go ham on like references. Bonet and Blast Zone. That's kind of a dumb name, but you know what I'm going for if you play Odyssey. Woody Woods, Daisy Gardens, Western Junction, Tycoon Town, Magma Mine, Wire Coliseum, Rabbit Ridge, and then the bonus would be 
bonuses would be Bowser Jr. Boulevard and MKTV Satellite. So it's... I think we... Yeah, we got two Odyssey references, some Mario Sports Mix references, um, loaded with Mario Party references. So yeah, I think that's a good place. Um, I brought back unlockable content, like, you know, unlocking characters by completing specific tasks. Uh, like, for example, like, it's not, like, obviously Nintendo's gonna do whatever they want, but, like, for example, like, you could unlock, unlock Diddy Kong by winning the 100cc Star Cup. Unlock Kamek by being 16 Staff Ghosts in Time Trials. Um, you know, stuff like that, and possibly even do the same thing with vehicles, maybe not every vehicle, because we've become so accustomed to having, like, you know, the customization options, um, but I don't think they should all necessarily just be, like, randomly unlocked by collecting coins. Um... Another thing they can do is, like, if you notice uh, Mario Kart Super Circuit, you've got these, like, boring 2D tracks after we just had Mario Kart 64, which is, like, the revolution of racing. But they always had these, they had these, like, pretty, these, like, amazing drawings for every course that still made it look appealing, even though it's, like, this blocky 2D thing. So, one thing I thought of is, like, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has, like, a few title screens that you'll get. Mario Kart, that is so embarrassing. I ran out of storage, and this is actually my second take because I started talking and I ran out of storage again because I was saying, like, a bunch of unnecessary stuff. So, I'm going to try to cut to the chase here. So, anyways, I was talking about going absolutely ham with the title screens, unlocking a bunch of title screens that feature different characters and carts and courses and whatnot. So, yeah. And the reason I'm worried about Mario Kart X being so expensive is like, what if this is their idea of Mario Kart Ultimate? But there's actually so much more they could do with Mario Kart. Like, yeah, like they're, they could take their sweet time making Mario Kart Ultimate as perfect as possible. They're not going to make the same mistake that they made the booster course pass. <laughs> um... But yeah, one, but obviously we'd need some content. Not going 10 years without any Mario Kart at all. Um, maybe not. But they could, re so one thing I thought about when Mario Kart 8 Deluxe drop is like, what if they do this with previous Mario Kart titles? Like Mario Kart 7 Deluxe, Mario Kart Wii Deluxe, Mario Kart DS Deluxe. Um, Super Mario Kart Deluxe and Mario Kart Double Dash Deluxe, I've actually like, laid out some possibilities for what those games could look like. Um, I'm not going to share them because, like I said, I'm buying storage again. And... So, yeah. Be hopeful about the future of Mario Kart. It's bright. Um, like, subscribe, share, comment, do all the things. And see you guys next time.